Hi everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy, and today I'm going to be introducing a new video series I've been working on all about designing your own cut files. The programs that I'll be using throughout this series are Adobe Illustrator, which is what I'm in now, and Cricut Design Space. You can use the files you create in Illustrator in other cut file programs like Silhouette's Designer Edition of Silhouette Studio as well. Um, I've created a couple videos about making SVG cut files before, but in order to better address many of the questions I've been getting and fully explain the capabilities and limitations associated with designing cut files, I thought it would be useful to create a comprehensive video series on the subject. Um, before we jump into creating the designs, I wanted to talk about a few things we need to keep in mind when designing cut files. So I've created this simple little design and a few things to keep in mind are the thickness of the lines. So depending on the material I'm using, um, this thickness might be okay or it might be too thin. For instance, if I were cutting this out of felt, something really thick or maybe out of something really thin like crepe paper, uh, the thinness of these lines might be an issue. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is how large or small the object is. So if this was cut out of something really big, maybe a 12 inch size sheet of paper, then this would be fine. But if this was something that was only going to be one inch around, then this might be too detailed for your cutting machine. And finally, the other thing to keep in mind is the type of material you're going to be using um, in regards to how you create the design. So as you can see with this, uh, all of the lines are connected, meaning that it could be cut out of one shape and therefore it could be cut out of paper or vinyl or uh, cardstock or vellum or whatever your material is, it will come out as one piece. Um, if you were to say have a whole bunch of these other little shapes around it, like these dots, um, these are going to get lost if you're cutting it out of anything except for vinyl. The reason that you can have separated shapes with vinyl is because you're going to be putting it on transfer paper first before putting it onto your final piece. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Vinyl means you can have separate pieces. Any other material basically means that you need to make sure all of the lines are connected. So another example is just a little bit of a different rendition of this design. At first glance, this looks like this could maybe be cut out of a piece of paper or another um, kind of material. But as you can see, if you look closer, we have a whole bunch of these tiny separated shapes that aren't touching anything and therefore will get lost on your cutting mat when you go to do your cut. So if you're cutting this out of paper, once again, these are going to get lost. Anything that's not touching each other is going to get lost. Um, but if you were to do it on vinyl, then you could just put it on the transfer paper and it'd be fine. The way to remedy that would be to connect these pieces somehow with another shape um, overlapping the lines and making sure that all the pieces could come out as one shape. Hopefully that all makes sense and now that we have all of our bases covered, let's jump in!